Hello everybody, this is Kalzak and welcome to a brand new video series I'm calling Mario Kart 8 Q&A. In this series I'm going to be attempting to answer uh, Mario Kart 8 questions that you've got. Any questions from the shortest route to what combinations are fast on certain tracks, any questions that you have then pose it to me and I will do my best to try to answer it. Uh, we're going to start off on this episode with a couple of questions that I've always wanted to know that I decided to investigate. So let's get on with it. The first question is, does every coin you collect give you a speed boost? Now I'm pretty sure it does, but I always wanted to know how much of a speed boost actually gives, so I think it's time we did a little bit of investigating. Here we go. Oh. Okay, so the first thing we do is look at a side-by-side -side comparison of zero coins and ten coins. And there we go. You, see there, you can't really tell uh, from that, so we'll have a quick look at an in-depth analysis of that. So we'll just slow the footage down here, and then we'll stop it at key points along the thing. And as we get to the finish line, you can see the one on the right, the ten coins. You can clearly see it already it is ahead, so it definitely does make an impact having more coins. Um, not m m massive impact, we'll keep going and look at the next one. Just as you get under this bridge, look at the shadow, as you see, it's got even further ahead. So, obviously, the longer the straight is, the more speed you're going to carry. And we'll get to the final little checkpoint here. And there you go, look, it's now quite far ahead. So, you can see that 10 coins does make an impact. But what about 5 coins? Does each coin count towards the speed boost? Let's investigate that. And next we're going to look at the comparison between zero coins and five coins to see if there's an impact for every coin you get. I'm not going to check every coin, but if there's a difference between zero and five, and then five and ten, then you can pretty much guarantee that every coin you get does give you a little bit of a speed boost. So we'll just go through this in slow motion and stop it at the end, and here we go. This is zero on the left, five coins on the right, and as you see, get to the finish line, and you see slightly ahead. Uh, the one on the right and get under the bridge again a little bit further ahead and we get to the final checkpoint i will just pause it and there you go about half the gap um so i think that proves that there is a boost for every little coin we'll move into five and ten coins next and finally we'll look at now the comparison between five coins and ten coins just to cement the point i think it's pretty obvious that it does make quite a, a difference but here we go we'll just look at it again in a slow motion so here we go, uh, 5 coins on the left, 10 coins on the right, and as you can already see, the 10 coins is slightly ahead, about the same amount that 5 coins was of 0 coins, so it seems like a steady increase in speed. We'll stop it at the end, and again, look, almost identical gap to what the 5 coins to the 0 coins was. So there we go, I'm pretty um, certain in saying that every coin you get gives you a speed boost. Collect 10, and you're going to be definitely having an advantage. There we go, let's move on to the next question. Here we go. And here's the second question of this episode. On Toad Harbour, at the end of the track, which route is faster, the left one or the right one? This is something I've always wondered, so I thought I would put it to the test. So let's go slow-mo again. At the end of the Toad Harbour, there's two ways to go. One with a boost panel and one with not with a boost panel. And I've always wondered, is the one with the boost panel faster? So we're going to have a look here. The one on the left is going left, and the one on the right is going right. So you go, you see me drifting on the left, and I've just started drifting for the right. And as I think you can already see right now, the right route is already faster. And we're going to pause it at the finish line, but that boost panel on the left definitely tricks you. As you can clearly see, it's about a second faster to take the right route. I think that boost panel is a little bit misleading, but there we go. Question answered. Anyway, that is the end of this episode. In future episodes, I will do more questions, but I want you to suggest some. So if you've got any questions you'd like answered that you couldn't be bothered to go and search it, search for, then let me know and I will try to answer them. Anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye.